So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P0446 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Toyota P0446 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission control system vent control circuit malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, modern cars, they have an EVAP system that helps contain all the gas vapors inside the gas tank. They get sent back into the engine and get burnt off. And the onboard computer seen an issue with this, so it had to be troubleshooted to know why. And some of the possible causes could be a bad gas cap, could be the charcoal canister, could have an EVAP leak, and possibly a purge valve solenoid. And so the first thing to do when you get this error code is to go check out the gas cap, because the gas cap is a part of the EVAP system. It all needs to be sealed in order to work properly. So if the gas cap is not sealing all the way in there, the little rubber piece that's inside of there, or it's not locking all the way into place, it can cause issues. So the gas cap might be good, but go and examine it. Be sure that little rubber piece inside of it are good and it's locking all the way into place. If it does look bad, go ahead and replace it. Uh, if you do, be sure to get an OEM one as sometimes third party aftermarket ones can cause issues sometimes. But Basically, first thing to do, go examine the gas cap and be sure it's good. And if that all looks good, the next most common cause of this is going to be the charcoal canister. And this is located up and underneath the vehicle by the gas tank. And this can be a common failure with this code. And there's different ways you could test the charcoal canister. There would be different voltages going to the vapor pressure sensor and, and different things like this. The vent valve that's located on the charcoal canister. And each Toyota will be a little different on how it's designed and everything. So you want to get the wiring diagram for that particular one and you can run some different tests. Or you could just go and replace it. They do they are a little bit costly. I'll jump over on Amazon, give you an idea how much they're costing right now. They're ranging around two hundred, three hundred dollars. So it could be a good idea to get the wiring diagram for your particular Toyota year and model and do some tests on it to see if it's failed. And there is different tests you could do on these. You could check the wiring, be sure it's getting voltage and things like this. You could check for any leaks. Any of these hoses have leaks, which will be another thing too, all the way through the system. But the next thing to go and check out would be the charcoal canister located up and underneath the vehicle by the gas tank. And if, and if that all looks good, if the gas cap looks good, if you checked out the charcoal canister, you did some tests on it and that all looks good. Then another thing that can cause this error code is that there's a leak inside the EVAP system somewhere. They got hoses that run from the gas tank all the way around to the charcoal canister, all the way up to the purge solenoid. And if there's a leak in the system, it can cause this code. And what a mechanic would do is if they thought there was a leak, they'd take a smoke machine, they'd feed it into the EVAP system, and wherever the smoke came out, they'd be able to see where it's leaking, and they'd be able to fix it. Now, you likely aren't going to have a smoke machine, but what you could do is you could go around and check out all these hoses that's going around everything, and be sure that there's no cracks or no opens or anything like this that might be causing the issue. Because that can be a common problem, is, is that one of the hoses are leaking, going around everything. And that's just causing the issue. And so if you've gone around and you checked all of that and all of that looks good and you're not having no issues with any of that, then the last thing to check would be the purge valve solenoid. And this is located up inside the engine compartment on top of the engine. It would just be a small valve. And this doesn't usually cause this error code. Usually you'll get another error code, but it could be an issue. It might be causing some kind of problem inside the system. But usually you'll get another error code if it is the purge valve. But it would be something to check if all the other things look good. And what this does is it opens up when the engine's running to let all the vapors go into the engine and get burnt off. And it closes when the engine's not running so they don't escape. It'll have a wiring harness going to it. So be sure to check out the wiring harness. Any open, short, bad connection can cause the same issues as a bad solenoid. So you want to check that out. Check all the hoses and everything like this. Be sure there's no leak. But that would be the last thing to do would be go check out the purge valve. And so what do you do if you have a Honda with the P0446 code? Well, the first thing to do, go check out the gas cap. Be sure it's that it's good, that it's not damaged or anything like that, that the little rubber piece that go, that's inside of there is not, is not missing or anything along these lines. Just be sure it's good. If it does look bad, then go ahead and replace it since the EVAP system does need to be sealed in order to work properly. If that all looks good, the next thing is to go look at the charcoal canister. And there's different tests you can run on these. It's going to be different for every Toyota since they did different designs and things like this for the different years. But basically, you'll have some different sensors on here and valves. You have a vent valve and likely a pressure sensor on some Toyotas. So you want to get the diagram or the schematics for it. You want to go test it. Be sure it's getting the right voltages and test those solenoids and valves or anything like this. If anything tests bad, you might be able to just replace that specific solenoid or valve on the charcoal canister sometimes. Otherwise, you'll need to replace the whole thing. And if that all looks good, then be sure to check for any leaks in any of the hoses going around anything since that can also cause an issue. Usually you'll get another code with that if that does happen, but a leak can cause this code. And so the next thing to do would be go check for any leaks around all these hoses going to everything. And if that all looks good and there's no issues there, then the next thing to go look at would be the, the purge valve solenoid. It'll be located up inside the engine compartment and they're relatively low cost parts, but they can be tested or replaced. 
And so that's basically it. I just want to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Honda with the P0446 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.